Today, I'm going to look critically at the claim that the Great Lakes water levels are dropping due to climate change. The Great Lakes are a chain of five large lakes on the border of Canada and the United States. These lakes include Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. They are a vital source of water for much of the United States and Southeast Canada. In the early 2010s, water levels were dropping in the Great Lakes. The news media, activist groups, and some climate scientists began claiming that climate change was to blame. They said that it was a looming water crisis, and some climate models predicted the lake levels would continue to decline over the next century. However, just a few years after those predictions were made, the Great Lakes reached record high water levels, which have remained above normal since 2014. Once that trend was established, activists reversed course and began sounding the alarm that climate change was causing abnormally high water levels, which were also presented as catastrophic. Well, you can't have it both ways. You can't claim climate change causes the Great Lakes water levels to decline and your computers predicted it all along, and then claim climate change causes the Great Lakes levels to increase and your computers predicted it all along. Looking at the long-term measurements of water levels in the Great Lakes show water levels have waxed and waned frequently and significantly since the 1910s, with no clear trend in either direction. That remains the same now. In fact, there is no evidence that the recent variability is any different than the natural cycles that have caused the Great Lakes water levels to rise and fall throughout their entire existence. 